Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft. Today we are back on the server and we have a few things to do. So first up we have uh, our horse name. Now in the comments of not the last video, the video before I think, I asked for you guys to name the all black horse that's there. And uh, two of you guys came up with a name of Sooty and I really really love the name, it reminds me of the program with Sooty and Sweep, the little puppet character things, they're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that was named by Henrys, uh, Hen, Henrys, maybe, Emma and Emily Bagley. So thank you guys for naming the horse. That is what I've named him, and uh, he's just over there chilling, not really bothered about his name at all. He's uh, he's gonna look that way. Whatever. Anyway, today we have actually got some new post from Zombie Cleo. It's the Herald number nine, which is super cool because I. Uh, I haven't got one yet. I Well, I had number eight, which I took myself, but I've not had one delivered. So we are just going to read through this little book here. Okay, so the first story is New Hermiton Under Surveillance. Now, I feel like this is probably me, but uh, we're going to read through it anyway. Are, your, are you safe in your own bases? New evidence coming to light would suggest that you are not. Satellite surveillance images have been leaked that show bases of the majority of hermits are under constant observation. What nefarious plans is the perpetrator considering? Is it going to be become Big Brother or even Big Sister telling hermits how to live their lives? I for one love and accept our new creepy overlord and will be honest and loyal follower until you die. <laughs> of course, at that point you may end up my loyal and honest follower, so really, turn about is fair play. F fair enough, okay. Uh, next story is Hermitcraft Diamond Exchange. In need of diamond tools, only have one or two diamonds? Well, iJevin has you covered. The Diamond Exchange has different deals weekly of the best gear. You can find the Diamond Exchange in the front of the business district of New Hermiton. P.S. Mention you saw this ad and get a free reward. That sounds cool. Uh, then we have Zombie Jail. Hmm, interesting. Private Detective DMAC has expanded on his law enforcement activities and has built what he terms a zombie jail. But what this paper believes is a cruel and inhumane zombie grinder using the aggressive constructs known as iron golems to work as instruments in his evil. The zombies in this town are feeling hard pressed with this ever continuing abuse. Now that, 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 that sounds really bad, we should do something about that. The Tube! New Hermiton has a new underground. Built by community leader Azuma as a fast travel method around the town, it is a work of art. All hermits are rightly impressed with his feat, this feat of engineering. A new food establishment, Faux Chisel, is being built underneath the streets to match this un new underground aesthetic. Yes, so uh, Slip has actually built a little... I'm not quite sure what to call it, a restaurant thing, um, which sounds pretty cool. I don't know where it is, but I'm going to probably check it out at some point in this episode because I would quite like to see it. I think I've only seen a bit in his episode and it looks pretty epic, so we're probably going to go find that in a second and go check it out. Okay, so I was just wandering over here to check out the Diamond Exchange, seeing if there was any new deals going on and if I can get a free reward. And I've just seen one of the pranks that I think it was... Zuma and Zuljin? I think it could be DMAC, I'm not quite sure. But either way, there is the sheared sheep over there, which looks utterly amazing. I've not actually come and seen it in person yet, but that looks awesome. Is there any new deal? No, there's no new deal. I'm pretty sure that's been a couple of weeks, and there's actually only one pick left, so I don't want to pay three diamonds for two picks when there's only one there, so that kind of kind of sucks a bit. But uh, I look forward to seeing what iGerman has in store for the next one, because I will be very interested in purchasing one and uh, we're just gonna go take a closer look at this look how amazing this is look at it it's still got its tail uh but other than that it kind of seems to have uh quite a bit of a wool missing and look there's even a giant pair of shears oh slip and zulgin i got it wrong it's not azuma needed wool sheared your sheep slip and zulgin wow amazing that is that's pretty funny that is a pretty good prank actually i'm kind of uh envious of idea I may have to come up with something better bigger and better to do at some point in the future but uh yeah I'm gonna go and try and find slips faux shizzle I feel like it should be in the food court area oh it is it is actually in the food court area uh faux shizzle oh wow very nice I actually this is one of my favorite colored clays it's pretty pretty bright in your face but it it goes really well actually in here I've never been to a faux restaurant 
They've never actually really... I don't think they have them in the UK. Well, they probably do somewhere, but I've not seen one. Uh, and we have a iron golem that seems to be in a bit of a hole, which kind of sucks a little bit. But uh, yeah, foe is on the menu. That is pretty much it. And uh, this is looking pretty awesome. I look forward to seeing it when it's completely finished. And uh, I hope that there's a kitchen in there with some nice little villages and things just cooking away. That would be pretty funny. And uh, yeah, very nice job uh, there, Sip. It looks awesome. Okay, so since we're over here by the food court, I thought we would actually head over to um, Mumbo's new little mini game. And I just seen his video on it, and it looks awesome. I really like these target kind of games. I'm not the best at aiming at buttons. If you saw my uh, The Temple of Z, Zuljin, um, you know that I would have not done very well at shooting the buttons but anyway today we are just gonna have a go at it uh, stand in the little iron square with bow and arrows hit all targets as fast as possible light on equals a hit put your time down in the book good luck okay so what like I did last time with the ender Olympics over there I'm just gonna do the time afterwards and write it in the book but I'm just gonna go for it uh, it says actually as soon as you uh, let go of the first arrow that's when your time starts so three two one okay got the first one there no we need way higher than that oh god this is when i get really really frustrated okay got it i've got 64 arrows on me so i should should have a good amount oh that was a really nice shot i thought that was a bit too too off that one was definitely off is that light on no nope. i should have probably done this at night time when i can see the actual lights turn on okay this is not bad at all i'm not doing too bad oh got it the last one Yes, awesome. So I'm going to check that time and I'm going to put it in the book and show you guys what I got. Okay, I've just checked my time in editing and wow, I did quite a lot better than I thought, to be honest with you. And uh, let's have a look at the times in here. I've written my time down and 29 seconds. Wow, that was kind of ridiculous. I thought I was a lot worse at bow uh, bow skills than I actually am apparently so uh, that's always fun so that's definitely a time to beat uh, I'm sure that mummy could probably be there very easily I know that he just kind of went for it and uh, yeah so anyway we're just gonna head back and I'm pretty chuffed with that that's, that's not bad at all so I'm back at my base and I feel like I've explored over there quite enough for today's episode we are actually gonna head back in my base and as you can probably see I noticed there is a massive hole in this staircase right here because I've planned on making a little balcony area. Now look how nice this looks out here. It's a bit misty at the moment. We have the claw kind of mounting out there in the distance. We can't, can't quite see because of my render distance at the moment. But I have an awesome idea for this. This is the sunset um, balcony. I'm not quite sure what to call it. Definitely uh, put some uh, names in the description. Something to do with the sunset or the sun going down. That would be pretty cool. And we're just going to put like a nice little sofa or seat in area in here, which might look quite nice. We could have like a little dining area. We can invite people around and have a nice little dinner looking out at the sunset. That might be kind of cool. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much just made out of half slabs at the moment. We have a semicircle here, which looks awesome. And then I had planned on making this kind of go along here to... I'm not quite sure what yet. But uh, if, if I don't like that, then I'm probably going to have to get rid of that at some point. Or maybe I'll just put some... Maybe I'll have like a little sitting area down here with bookcases and that so you can sit and read. And then this would be like the main dining area or something. But look at this. This looks utterly amazing. So much that I'm going to take a little screenshot because look how cool that looks. Amazing orange colour. But anyway, I'm going to get on and build this. I'm going to add some glass to it. Probably going to have to go get some more half slabs and mix them up. And uh, I think this is going to be a nice little project. Okay, so I'm building away here, and I'm looking down the hill. Look at the spider. Look how glitchy he is. I'm not quite sure what the hell he's doing, but he's, like, having a rave. He's just, like, going in and out of the blocks for some reason. He is very, very strange. But what I'm doing at the moment is actually, because we don't have, we have half stabs in here, which is uh, purposeful, because I feel like if I put the chairs into the ground a little bit, it might look kind of cool. It's uh, so kind of like this, so you have half a block up. Also, it means I can actually have this a lot darker. I mean, obviously, I have light in here at the moment, just while I'm building, while it's becoming night and day. Um, and I think it's just going to look really, really nice. I mean, it, the glass looks a lot better at night time. It doesn't look so much kind of cube-like, I suppose. Um, I should really... I've got half to find, but for some reason, the connected textures aren't working on it. 
don't know if there's something I've done wrong there, but either way. Um, and this is kind of what it's looking like at the moment. I feel like it needed some kind of pillar to hold the glass up because I feel like the glass on its own looks a little bit weak as if it wouldn't really be able to hold up. I mean, obviously, in real life, you're able to have massive panes of glass if you want, but, uh, you know, these are quite thick, so I suppose they probably would hold up by themselves, but I feel like I need to add a few more pillars, maybe. So I may actually add one here, and then, obviously, if I go along here, I may have to put one here as well. Um, I may actually get rid of the one that's on the right there, but I think with added pillars uh, here and there, if we'll actually make this one a bit taller, it might look a lot stronger and uh, yeah it's gonna make it a little bit of an issue when you're coming in here the kind of the area you actually go into is kind of a little bit of a weird kind of place to be because it's you know not in the middle of this room it would be really really nice if you could enter the room from here that would be epic but um, because of the way I built things I can't do that but that's fine I'm gonna kind of work my way around that and uh, yeah I'm really liking how it's looking so far looking pretty cool so I have run out of time for this episode as per usual, I always seem to do that, I always feel like I can rock all way more but then I don't really have much time to do that since I have to move on to other episodes and things like that and get them up in time because my internet's rubbish at the moment. But uh, thanks to all the people on Patreon, I have seven patrons at the moment which is absolutely epic and I've reached my better internet goal which is crazy awesome I know I think I mentioned that last episode and I've already reached it which is mental it's so crazy awesome and it really means a lot to me so I'm gonna get that sorted sometime soon and then the next goal is live stream so if I reach that once I've got better internet I'm gonna be starting to live stream a bit and then I'll probably have another goal which is where I start doing proper live stream like schedules so I'll do like once a week or two, no pretty like three times a week or something like that that would be absolutely epic if i could do that but anyway uh i've actually decided i'm gonna put some kind of staircase down here not quite sure it's how, how it's gonna look but i'm gonna end up doing that next episode that and the dining room table and the chair over there i will do next episode but thank you ever so much for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode comment below and i'll reply as i usually do and just thank you all so much catch you guys next time see ya Thank you.